Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Tether Video and Tether Jupiter production. Today we're taking a look at what I got for Christmas 2022, the third annual what I got for Christmas. I guess makes sense. All right, let's get started. All right, so the very first item we're talking about today is the Griffin Road Case. So this is a travel mixer rack for my Behringer Xenix Q802. I believe is the name. Uh, it's too big to fit in frame right now, so I'm going to overlay B-roll for this one. Um, it's a nice road case. It has a liftable, removable lid. So you unlock the latch, lift it up, and pull it right off the hinge. It's just a little hook. Um, and then that gives you access to the mixer itself. There's enough room in the back to access the switches, ins, outs, inserts, all that stuff. Then on the very front, there's a panel that you can pull out with a shelf inside with more um, racks on the side to install more... Um, bits and then on the back is the removable back portion where you can pull all your cables through the uh, hole that was built in and then on the sides are nice handles that are spring-loaded that you can pick it up by and then there's wheels on the bottom that you can wheel it around so it's just a mixer rack for my mixer it's great and I don't have to worry about where I'm gonna put my mixer it's always in this rack and it's also travelable so I can throw it in my truck my dad's truck or my car if it'll fit and we can do some audio somewhere else so that's the very first item the griffin road case all right so the very next item we have today we have the road blimp a larger object than i thought it was going to be so this is a large outdoor or indoor um, windscreen for any road shotgun microphone so you see this on set a lot of times um, on a boom pole kind of like this one i got last year this so then you'll see people booming it, kind of like this. Um, uh, and it's got this little clip on it that you can pull and it will adjust. It will allow you to adjust the angle of the blimp. And it's got the XLR that feeds out into here. So then you can just plug an XLR right into the base of this and it can run down the length of your boom pole. Now, how does a blimp work? So a blimp is a shock mounted system that is housed inside of the blimp um, that rests in there that also gives the shock mount but it reduces your plosives and wind level um, on it so you unscrew the very back is this the back yes it is you unscrew the back of the blimp and inside you can see is a very hollow uh, um, hollow shock mount system so what does it do so on the very base there are these little screws you unscrew that is going to loosen your shock mount from the blimp itself. Once it's loosened, you grab the blimp, you slide it off. That is the blimp. It is a piece of plastic, pretty much, which I honestly thought was a hard plastic when I first put it on my list, but it's all right. So it is the shock mount system. Now this can be used on its own as well, so you can just screw it in, and this can be used by itself as its own little shock mount. Um, but it is this track which these shock mounts are movable, which it looks like I do need to adjust them because it looks like it's weighing on a bit. But it's this XLR cable that's built in that runs all the way through to the handle and you shock mount your shotgun microphone into there on it, just like that. Um, yeah, and then literally once your microphone is on there, you grab the blimp, I'm hitting the microphone. You slide it on the track, tighten the bits down, screw the back on, and that is the blimp. Right next up on the list is an item that I don't have with me currently. It is in the kitchen, and I don't want to remove it from the kitchen. It is the Chemex Automatic. The Chemex Automatic is a automatic coffee maker. Uh, if you've ever heard of a Chemex, it is a pour-over style coffee maker, um, typically done with a kettle um, that you just hand pour. Chemex re-released the Chemex Automatic. It does that same thing, but automatically. Um, and it's in the kitchen. It's great. It's really awesome. I love it. Uh, it makes great coffee. Um, we used to have, uh, I got a Chemex for Easter a couple years ago, and then it took a little bit too long, and it just was, so we really quit using that and got a Keurig again. Uh, but now we have the Chemex back, finally. Um, also, aside from just the Chemex, I was also given um, some filters for the Chemex, obviously. Um, duh. And yeah, so along with the Chemex, I kind of got an upgraded coffee setup. So the coffee setup I have now is the Chemex Automatic. 
um, as well as I got a fellow stag, which is a kettle uh, that I used to have but I gave away, which I regret deeply. Um, and it uh, is just a electric self-heating kettle instead of having to like warm water up on the stove or something or anything like that. It is uh, a kettle that does all of that for you. Uh, you can set the temperature. It's really great. Um, and then I also got a coffee grinder, the Baratza um, Encore. It's a really great burr grinder. Uh, it grinds with burrs so it doesn't heat up and it's very consistent in its grind. But it's um, you can you know change it to different settings for the Chemex or an AeroPress or a uh, whatever you're using. But um, it's really great and I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, the Chemex Automatic and then filters, the Fellow Stag, the coffee grinder, and uh, I got a cork neck Chemex that came with the automatic, but I wanted the glass handle, so I got that separately. So yeah, it's pretty great. So that is the Chemex Automatic, the cork, cork neck Chemex, the filters, the Fellow Stag, and the coffee grinder. On to our next item. So next up, um, this year was a big year for audio equipment for me. Anyway, so uh, the next item we have here is what is called an Orca audio bag. So this is what you would see on movie sets all the time. Um, I've actually got stuff in here already that I forgot to take out. And it's the road link that I got last year. So the Orca bag is a bag you see on set all the time. Um, you see the audio guys wearing them, um, either carrying it like this or on their shoulder, but it's a nice webbed audio bag inside. And if you unzip all of the sides, as you're seeing, you can unvelcro everything. There's a honeycomb interior. Um, it's all metal. Um, and there's also zippers on the front. And as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I've put stuff in here that I've forgotten about. Oh, uh, just road link stuff, just audio stuff. Um, and then also on the front, there is the boom pole holder. So you can... Am I missing? Oh, no, I'm not. Um, so you can strap your boom pole to it. Um, you can put all your cables in it. You can wear it on your shoulder. Um, yeah, it's an Orca audio bag. You see them on set all the time. Um, yeah, it's great. It's the smaller one um, because I don't have a ton of audio gear, but enough to put in here for when I'm doing different projects. It would have been helpful to have for this last project we did for a nonprofit. But um, yeah, that's great. So yeah, that's the Orca bag. Um, uh, as always, I will be linking everything in the description just if you're interested. Also with the Orca bag comes the rain shield that you can Velcro over top. Um, and then apparently, as a free gift, my parents were given this. This came uh, for free. This is a, an entire rain cover. So this goes over your entire body. It's like an apron. Uh, it's the OR35. I'll also try to link this if I can find it. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. Um, it just goes over extra rain protection. All right, now going along with the audio um, little train here, we've got my new audio recorder. This is the Tascam dr 70 D. A lot of D's. So this is a uh, four channel um, audio recorder um, that goes in that bag as a matter of fact. So it just, as you're seeing now, it slides down into the bag so you can see the screen. That is pretty much how it works on set. This would be in the bag. They would, uh, the audio guys would be booming something and they could see all their audio. That's kind of how that works. Um, this does have phantom power for my NTG4, which is what this is made, what, what I bought it for is the NTG4. But the cool thing about this is you can attach this to a tripod and then your camera screws on top of it. So it's under your camera. So if you're recording audio like now, if I had a, my NTG4 boomed, um, this would just be under it and I could see all the audio recording onto an SD card. Um, better than the Zoom H4n Pro, which I had before, which only could record on a 32 gig card and the battery was terrible. So. Um, yeah, it's just the Tascam DR70D. It's a great one. If you guys want to see any specific reviews on any of these, I will I will do videos on specific reviews. But uh, a thing I bought yesterday for it, um, it does take AA batteries um, because it's a wireless field recorder. So you don't need power like an, uh, an AC plug. That's the idea of it. So you can be out in the middle of the field shooting a movie and you don't need power. So I was at a camera store yesterday and I bought this little think tank. Um, pouch to store AA batteries. You put four and four so it can hold eight batteries and you can slide that in your audio bag. So I bought this because this thing takes batteries. I'd love to have extra batteries so I bought it so you can hold them in here while on the field. So this is just something I bought with my own money uh, yesterday. So not a great gift I got but I'll still link it in the description. All right next up on the list we have a wallet. So this is a wallet that Peter McKinnon 
famous filmmaker photographer on YouTube um, kind of showed and I really enjoyed it's from miscellaneous goods um, it is a tuck wallet a leather tuck wallet so you open it up you have all your stuff in it your cards your money and then it just tucks inside of itself it is a keyword tuck wallet that's why it gets its name um, on the very back or I guess the front or the back however you want to see it it says um, you know MSG on it or the co uh, the uh, company a number three for a reason I don't know and a saying that says it will fade along with you it will turn to dust so be generous and leverage it well miscellaneous goods on the front and then on the top it says keep it and then on the inside of the tuck it says lose it uh, yeah so and it's just a tuck wallet I enjoy this wallet it's a nice wallet um, really great yeah so that is the tuck wallet all right next up is an outfit uh, an outfit this is from lululemon it is like a little tracksuit kind of thing but it's not so it's a hoodie right a nice hoodie very hard to show but a lululemon hoodie and then matching pants i've got a couple pairs of lululemon shorts and lululemon under Anyway, that's enough of that. I know we don't need to talk about underwear in this channel. This is a film and photo channel, not a um, not a underwear channel. All right, next up, shoes. Everyone's going crazy over the Air Max 270s. I think is what they are, right? Air Max 270? Yeah, they are. So these are um, white, and then they have the color on the back, just like the ones I have now, except they are, those shoes I have now, I'll throw a picture up. Uh, those are the ones I have now, but these are the Air 270s. Everyone's loving these, the white ones, the black ones, all the different versions. But, yeah, the 270s in the cool colors. Fun, fun, fun. Another pair of shoes I got is a pair of dress shoes. They are Elvis shoes from Hush Puppies, which I don't have yet. They are currently in the mail because we had to order them from, the, well, my mom had to order them from the UK to get here um, because everyone sold out. So they're probably on a boat in the ocean. I don't know from the UK or on a plane I'm not sure but I don't have them just yet but they are the hush puppies Elvis shoes the white and black bowler looking shoes that I can wear with my suits so that's pretty much all I have to show of them because I don't have them yet but uh, yeah hush puppies Elvis shoes so what is next next up on the list of items is a microphone a big audio for uh, audio year so it is a Rode microphone, not just for Channel 17 News, but it is just in general, it is the Rode Reporter microphone. Um, it is a Reporter microphone. As a matter of fact, we can use it right now. I'll unplug this. Check, check, check. Hello, everybody. It is me. Um, it's probably very loud because I have the cloud lifter plugged in right now. Um, but this is the Rode Reporter microphone um, used for reporting the news. And it also comes with a mic flag to put over top. Plug your ears. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Um, and it's kind of weird because it's like right there. I don't really understand it. But yeah, the Rode Reporter microphone. Um, yeah, it's really great. Rode Reporter. Hey friends, it's me. Alright, so that is the Rode Reporter. Uh, yeah, great microphone. Uh, for not just Channel 17 News, but in general. Just for to have. You know, yeah. Alright, so the elephant in the room that you've probably already seen, um, obviously by now, it is the Shure SM7B. So this is a dynamic vocal microphone. Very famous. Michael Jackson recorded Thriller on it. Um, it's a very famous microphone, and I love it. It sounds really great. Um, you're hearing it right now. You've been hearing it in this entire video. The Shure SM7B, it comes with the extra humongous windscreen that I'll probably never use because it's ginormous, and I'm not a broadcaster, so I don't need that. But it's a really great microphone. It sounds fantastic. Um, the thing is, I did buy this with some of my Christmas money. This is the Rode PSA1 Plus Boom Arm. Uh, all the boom arms I've had are from either Amazon or I bought a Pro, Pro Line one from uh, Guitar Center, but it was just huge. 
The PSA one is nice because it's got the sleeves on it, so I won't pinch myself. It's got the cable restraints. It works good for the SM7B. Uh, clamps to the desk. It's perfect. It works just perfect. Um, so, yeah, that's PSA one. I didn't get it for Christmas. I, I just bought it. The thing that everyone's talking about, though, is the giant branding on it. It's here. It's on the other side, and there's another sleeve down here at the other end of the arm. It's got it twice as well. People are covering it with gaffer's tape, whatever. It's fine. I don't really care that much, but it's there. Who cares? Um, so yeah, that's just another extra thing that I bought. Another extra thing that I bought just yesterday for fun was some more gaff tape. White. I've never had white gaff tape. It's good for labeling. I don't know. I bought it. I'm not worried about it. Anyway, um, next up, we have my new iPad case and Apple Pencil. So I bought an Apple Pencil for my new iPad, but my dad stole it. So anyway, uh, well, didn't steal it, but I gave it to him. It is the second generation that snaps to the side. This is my iPad Air I've had for a while, but this is the Apple keyboard case, Magic Keyboard. So it opens up like that, and then it snaps back. So it is just like that, and it's got the keyboard and the trackpad on it. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Um, and the Apple Pencil, I mean, that's really there is to it. All right, next up, we have a necklace. A chain in this great jewelry box um, it is I couldn't tell you what type of chain it is it's just a white gold or silver I'm not really sure it's just a necklace uh, 20 inches I think I think it's 20 um, but yeah it's a necklace boom all right something else as you know I sold my Funko Pop collection but I still collect very few. I saved like four. I saved my Home Alone ones. But this is something I've been wanting for a while. You know I'm an Elvis fan. So of course I had to have the pop album. Pure gold. Walmart exclusive. Really great. It is an album. Pure gold with him and a Funko Pop on it. So yeah. Of course only at Walmart. Had to get that. Might hang it up somewhere. We'll see. Yeah, of course, had to have that. Duh, who, who wouldn't? Um, all right, another thing, a new drone. Um, you guys know I had the DJI Spark for a while. Kind of a smaller, not I wouldn't say beginner. It's more of a play drone that's got a camera on it. This is the DJI Mi uh, Mini 3 Pro. So this is a full-on drone. Shoots 4K. Um, the bag I bought myself. I forgot to add it to my list to get the Fly More combo. So I just got the drone in the remote, but um, I went to Best Buy and bought this, the Flymore combo. It's got the case, batteries, and extra propellers. But So yeah, the case I did by myself. But the drone. So it is very similar to the Mavic style. Um, it opens up. Boom. So way bigger than the Spark. And then it's got this on the front that covers the gimbal, but very, very nice gimbal camera. But yeah, this is a full-on camera drone. It's not um, like the Spark was. The Spark was more of a uh, play drone, but, and I wouldn't say play, it still had a camera on it, but it wasn't like for made for filmmaking like this is. This is made for, it's kind of a beginner, um, beginner camera drone, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, but yeah, it's a semi-beginner, very, very lightweight drone that I've been wanting. So you're going to be seeing some drone content in the videos soon. And then it comes, I got the RC remote that's got the screen on it, so I don't need my phone. Huge screen, amazing screen, fantastic. And then also the battery charger that comes with two extra batteries. So I have three total batteries, which is great. Can't ever have too many drone batteries. This is going to be one long video. So yeah, in the case with extra propellers, all the things. The DJI Mini 3 Pro. The next thing I purchased with my Christmas money, it is a brand new MacBook. This is the MacBook Pro M1, the M1 Pro. So it's not the M1 Max, but it's the M1 Pro. This was a very expensive computer. I've needed a new computer. It's the 16-inch model. My old computer's actually sitting over there. Mason's buying it off of me because he needs one. But um, the one I had was a 2019 MacBook Pro 13-inch. Tiny screen. Terrible for editing. 
it was very slow it was the intel chip so you know as apple stated it's very bad it's it lagged i couldn't do any graphic work without it like being choppy and gross so i was like you know what i've been eyeing this computer for a bit i'm buying it uh the thing i love about it is i've been recording with GarageBand for 30 minutes it is 10 30 i started this video i mean that was a 30 that's why my camera cut off 30 minutes it cuts off i've been recording for 30 minutes on GarageBand, solid it's not plugged in charger's right here it's not been plugged in and we are at 99 percent battery so that's what i mean battery life is spectacular it's got the hdmi port it's got an sd card slot biggest thing for a filmmaker photographer an sd card slot so i can get rid of my stupid dongles um and it's got two thunderbolt ports it's really great it's actually got two th three thunderbolt ports an sd card slot hdmi slot amazing charger 16 inches humongous no touch bar that was the biggest thing about my old macbook is it had the touch bar so it drained the battery even more so it's great Really great. Braided cable. MagSafe is back. Fantastic. Love it. All right. Now let's get to some t-shirts. I got three. All right. So the first one we're going is obviously gray. And it is an Elvis shirt. TCB. Great. Fantastic. Of course, I'm going to wear it. Elvis TCB shirt. Who wouldn't? Um, a golf shirt. You guys know I'm a big golfer. I love golfing. It is a ping shirt. Golfing dude. And, of course, staying true to my homies, Road, a Road t-shirt. And I've also just ordered, not too long ago, Sure, you know, Sure, they make the Road, uh, the SM7B, this boom arm, I love Road, great company. Uh, sure, I bought a mug and a t-shirt from them. They, they had a, um, a Sure mug that was only $7.99, so I definitely bought that. A coffee grinder, the Encore Barazza. I already talked about it, didn't I not? I did. It was late. Yeah, anyway. Um, now, another thing you will also always see on set, I'm going to get it with my foot. I got it. The, one of the things you always see on set is a tape bungee. So it is a bungee cord, right? So very stretchy bungee cord and a carabiner, two loops, and you put your gaff tape on it and you clip it to something and you have all your tape on it. My white tape was on here, but I used it, but it's literally called... Well, you can barely read it, but it says tape roll bungee. Yeah, you just clip it. It's a every gaffer's best friend, AD, whatever. Fantastic. Great. Fantastic. Love it. Fantastic. The cloud lifter. So with the SM7B, it is a dynamic microphone. So it doesn't produce as much gain as a condenser would, right? So in order to get a loud enough gain to pick up good audio, you have to crank your gain to 100%. When you crank your gain to 100% is when you start getting the white noise, the background noise, all the little table knocks, all the different things. So then you have to buy a cloud lifter or a fet head or something like that that adds gain in line. An in line um, preamp is what they're called, Inline preamp. Basically this microphone is plugged into the cloud lifter, then the cloud lifter is plugged into my focus right. So it's adding 25 decibels of ultra clean gain before it gets to the focus right. So my gain right now is set to about five o'clock. In other terms, it's set to about, let's see, that would be 80% maybe? That'd be 50, 60, 75, 70, 75, 80%, somewhere in there. Originally it was set to 100 and it was still very quiet. So it's a huge difference. Um, it adds a lot. So I bought that with my own money yesterday as well. Some Christmas money. Uh, and yeah, it's in my MacBook. And then I got this and this was kind of a stocking stuffer, but not. It's a TC. It's supposed to be a TCB lightning bolt, but it's just back here in the background. And other than that, that is everything I got for Christmas this year. I will link everything in the description down below. That is it. That is what I got for Christmas 2022. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you guys in another video. I'm going to edit this and see how it turns out. I'll let you know how the MacBook works. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Hitch give it.